Steve Tober, Dan Frischman of Milburn, a big 4-3 Milburn victory over Montclair in eight innings in the quarterfinals of the Greater North Tournament. And Dan, you come in in the third inning in relief. At one point, you retired 10 in a row. You did the job. I know that Montclair came back to tie to send extra innings, but you got to be happy the way you pitched today. Tell us about it. Well, I wasn't really expecting to uh, come in this early, but when, after the uh, second inning, Coach just told me to start warming up, and then when Steven's back started uh, hurting, then I just came in there and just had to do one thing, throw strikes. Steven there, who left in the third inning after one batter, Kashi, the, the off batter got a hit. You came in, and big play in the game in that inning. Tell us about it. Delayed steal attempt by Montclair, and you guys did a nice job. Fisher, your second baseman, timed it right, and you tagged out the runner before the runner from third could score in a first and third. In interesting play in the game. Well, uh, we know that they like to run plays like this and uh, manufacture runs, and we uh, threw through because we thought we would be able to get him, and then uh, we were able to beat him uh, to the tag before they scored. That was a big play. And Dan, in a game where Montclair comes back to tie a 3-3, one out, 3 nothing game, tough play on an infield ground. You would feel at your position very well today, but on that ground ball, you threw a little wide to first base, run scores from third, it's 3-1, Monker comes back to tie, but baseball is an unforgiving game sometimes. You are only you were, you were get the out there, and you're on your way. Yeah, I mean, I didn't set my feet, and then uh, I let the next bat, let the uh, that carry over the next batter walk them, I believe. And uh, then what happens is the baseball gods got back at me. They hit a ball right into the hole, not hit well at all. So, I mean, you got to give uh, Monkler credit for making the comeback, and you guys show your might. Uh, Del Greco with a big double, and then the Tal Pilar, who did not look good against Gertner his first couple times up, comes up with a big hit for the freshman. Oh, I knew both of them had it in them. Uh, Anthony had hit this kid before, uh, and and uh, David, uh, he also uh, has been actually hitting pretty well coming into this game, so I knew he had it in him. Steve Tober, Anthony Del Greco, junior third baseman, three for four in the GNT quarterfinals. Milburn defeating Montclair, 4-3 in eight innings. What a great game, Anthony, wasn't it? It was a good game. They're a good team, and they played all the way through. You know, we were up in the uh, we were up in the seventh inning, and they and they never gave up. And uh, gotta give them credit for that. Unforgiving game. Uh, talking to Dan Frischman, your pitcher did a great job in relief today. Uh, one out in the seventh. It's three nothing. A little errant throw there, and you feel the ball. It's a tough play. Montclair scores to make it three one. They end up tying it. Uh, baseball is is a tough game, and and in situations like that, you just have to bounce back from. Oh, definitely. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a tough play, and uh, we, we picked him up on that one. He's been pitching great all year. And how about you in the uh, eighth inning? Ackerman, a very good pitcher, uh, had looked good in his first inning of work, and then you get the double off him. What was that pitch you hit the center field? Uh, he's a great pitcher. I, I just, you know, waited for a fastball, you know. I just uh, waited for my pitch. Didn't didn't uh, get too anxious, swing anything out of the zone. Just waited for my pitch. You guys, uh, big hits today when you needed it. The outfield here is tough to play. You had a couple triples today on balls that maybe, you know, slightly misplayed, but then again, difficult plays for the Montclair outfielders. Uh, two triples that accounted for your first couple of runs. But it's not an easy place to play, and you, you guys know how to play this field. Well, we practice here, you know, every day. We're going we're gonna to get the hang of the field, and it's a tough field. And, uh, again, you got to hand it to Montclair. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't make too many uh, errors out there. They, they're a great team, and they did a great job. And you guys now 18-4? Uh, and four? And it's been quite a season for Milburn Baseball under Coach Chapman. Uh, what's been the difference this year? The team just seems to really have come alive. The 22 games, impressive at 18 wins. I think it's, it's, it's just the team chemistry and the way we practice is just so intense. And everybody wants everybody to do well. There's no, there's no you know, dislike on this team. Everybody loves everybody. Everybody wants to do well for each other. And how about going to a GNT semifinal uh, at historic Doc Giltz Field in Verona? It's got to be, uh, I know you've got a big game with West Orange in the, in the division, but it's got to be a big thrill going to the GNT semis. Definitely is, but, you know, every game is the same. It's just a baseball game. That, that, at that moment, the team that you're playing is the only team that can beat you, and you've got to take it like every other game. Can't get too anxious, can't get too lax. Steve Tober with Coach Brian Chapman. Huge win for Milburn over Montclair in the GNT quarters, 4-3 and eight, eight innings, and Coach, a really a classic game. It was a terrific game. Two, uh, two great teams going at it. Uh, a lot of credit to, to Montclair and Coach Cavazzi. He does a tremendous job. Uh, we were up 3 nothing in the seventh. They never quit, and, uh, and, and they made us work a little overtime. But fortunately, we were able to come out on the, on the plus side. And Dan Frischman came in in relief. Uh, 
uh, third inning and really did a nice job. At one point, we tied 10 in a row. The one tough play, fielding a ground ball, a little wide of the first base. And other than that, you might have had a 3 nothing win. But uh, that's the unforgiving nature of baseball sometimes. Right, and it's also a credit to Montclair. They, uh, they're a team that, that's going to play it to the final out. And uh, they showed that again. And, uh, I, you know, it goes back to Coach. Coach Cavazzi does a great job with these guys, and uh, he really did a terrific job today keeping them, and, and, you know, keeping them focused down 3 nothing. Danny, uh, Danny came in. Uh, he knew he was in relief. He knew Steven had some, uh, some problems with his back. Uh, and then he, he uh, injured it on that pop fly. He kind of reached funny for it. Uh, and so Steven said, you know, he couldn't go any longer, and, and Danny did a tremendous job, as you said, coming in. And, uh, hey, give you guys Del Greco, 3 for 4 today double and this outfield came into play today it's not an easy outfield to play with no fences and you had a couple triples and uh line drive uh, fisher had a nice line drive for one triple i mean and you, you take advantage of your home field here today and it's not an easy pl place to play in the outfield it's not it's not uh we're very fortunate to have three pretty quick guys out there that cover a lot of ground uh but again you know offensively we weren't able to do a lot uh their first pitcher and their second pitcher did a great job getting it to sammy ackerman Who's one of the best pitchers in Essex County, for you know, hands down. Uh, so we weren't going to get a lot of opportunities. What we had to do is uh, take advantage of the few opportunities we had, get some clutch hits, and and you know, it's the way we won the game: two two out hits, uh, and, and that's a good recipe for success. You know, a fan here today, this is a lot of baseball, uh, saying that Union County baseball, Essex County baseball. You can say about Essex County, there's a lot of depth of teams. I mean, here's a four and five seed here today. Uh, but there's seven, eight good baseball clubs. I and mean, you've played, not, had a couple of tough games with Nutley, who's going to the GNT semis. I'm not to say it's better than Union County per se, but it is a deep county, Essex. Yeah, I wouldn't, you know, get into comparing. I have a lot of friends in Union County, but uh, I have said to everybody that'll listen, and, and I think you're not even doing the county enough credit, saying seven or eight good teams. I mean, uh, we ran into a, a buzzsaw in North Academy in the first round. I know Verona and Belleville down there. You know, look at Belleville, 15 seed knocking off a two. This is an excellent county. Uh, I love uh, the league. I love the division, and, and so far I, I'm enjoying the GNT as well. Well, Brian, continue to enjoy it Saturday. I know you got West Orange tomorrow in a big division game, but congratulations on a big win in the GNT quarter. Steve, thanks very much. I appreciate it. Ryan Chapman, head coach of Milburn. Big win over Montclair. Four, three, and eight innings for NJ Hotshots and sideline chatter. I'm Steve Tober.